Right, I think he's a little pissed off at me being here, okay, so I'm gonna proceed with caution. This adventure, I'm taking you to the United States, more specifically, South Florida, home to the American alligator and the rare and elusive American crocodile. I started going outside and just picking up whatever animal I could. Uh, that is a very good way to earn a Darwin Award, um, which I was not trying to do. That's my friend Zach Cole, wildlife biologist and filmmaker who has an awesome YouTube channel linked in the description. He is here to tell us more about these incredible animals as I adventure to find them. So we actually have three different species of crocodilian in Florida. Only two of them are native. The one that we're most known for is the American alligator. Let's start with the American alligator, the most common crocodilian in the United States. These animals have a wide range, living in Texas, the Carolinas, all the way down to South Florida, where the bulk of them can be found in the American Everglades. One of the most beautiful places, in my opinion, in the whole country. I love this place. This is amazing. I love the Everglades. I love this kind of environment. I love these animals. I love these crazy places. It's amazing fun. Like all crocodilians, they have a humble beginning, hatching out of an egg and weighing mere grams on birth and being food for almost everything in their ecosystem. However, it doesn't take them long to evolve into the role of apex predator, where they start to hunt all those who used to hunt them. Their main source of food is fish and reptiles, but they will also start to hunt big game such as deer, invasive wild boar, and even invasive Burmese pythons, which challenge them for the role of apex predator. I don't want to spend too much time on the American alligator as they're very well known in this country. However, I would like to take you down south, all the way to the bottom of the Everglades to find Florida's rare and unique American crocodile. I need to keep an eye out because this place is not on the GPS and I gotta make sure that I don't miss it. So, wish me luck. The extreme south of Florida is also home to the American crocodile, uh, which is a lot bigger. <laughs> My search for the American crocodile brought me to a place called Flamingo Visitor Center. Upon arriving, there were no crocodiles to be found, but there was a hell of a lot of other kinds of wildlife, including the incredible Florida favorite, the manatee. That's a manatee. Watching these animals play and mess about in the water was an incredible sight to see. They're surprisingly large and surprisingly agile. But shortly enough, I saw a glimpse of the animal I drove all this way to see. I saw a crocodile. It was incredible to see one of these animals up close. But call me ungrateful, the light was terrible and affected the shot negatively. This is such a photographer's problem, he's right in the sunlight. Gorgeous crocodile, and I can't get a good image of him. Damn. As the morning progressed, I saw not just one, but several crocodiles in the port's waters. There's a crocodile. Right there. Alligators and crocodiles are known for being extremely dangerous. So I asked a question to Zach. How can people who live close to these animals stay safe? In Florida, at least, the assumption always is if there is a body of water, there is an alligator in it. Um, I think that that's a good precautionary mental state to have, so that way you're not surprised by it. These are not friendly animals, these are not cuddly reptiles, even though that's how I think of them. That's not how they are. You should respect them, and I think that's another good point, is keep your distance from things. If you don't know about something, keep your distance from it. Don't go up close to it, don't try to pet it or anything. I, I don't know what it is with everyone trying to touch all of our different animals that we have, like manatees are not there for you to pet them. Alligators are not there for you to pet them. Respect them at a distance. Or if you really want to keep your distance, uh, just check out, you know, uh, an amazing videographers work with them like you or me or any of the other dozens of people out there that have experienced and worked with these kinds of wildlife and want to bring them to you and you can enjoy them in the safety of your own home and he's right there in the most beautiful spot that's just insane what a beautiful animal right 
I think he's a little pissed off at me being here. Okay, so I'm gonna proceed with caution. Just gonna make sure none of your buddies are around. Because you're gonna eat me, I think. I think that's what you wanna do. Eat me for lunch. I love these animals. Even though I know they don't love me back. There is just something so incredible about how ancient and dangerous these things are. Now, I don't want to freak him out, so I'll try and get a little closer, but I'm going to be stealthy. For some reason, the fact that these things can kill me makes them even more interesting to me, and even more eager to see them in the wild with my own two eyes. So I look at an alligator and I see something really cool, and something to recognize and almost be revered. I love chasing them, and I hope to work with these animals for more years to come. Ah, oh, I just missed him! <laughs> Leaving the water. Damn! Damn! <laughs> right, he's in the water now, so he might come back to eat me. Uh, 